uh, you're a tradie. Teeing up to this episode, I was on the Men's Line Australia website and having a look at some stats around you know, men's suicide, but particularly in tradies, it's three times higher than for other men. I can imagine what a, a tradie site would look like and, and sound like and feel like a very masculine place to be. What some of the experiences that you've seen, on, I guess, on, on sites? Yeah, um, it's definitely not the type of place where people will talk about their feelings. They won't mm. talk about what they want, especially the older tradies. When it comes to mental health, not even just mental health, like physical health, like tradies are one of the only jobs where they get up and they use their body for their work. Like that's something I try to get across to a lot of guys. Like, you know, they'll get up, you know, five, six o'clock in the morning, they'll go out work 12 hour days, they'll come home and, you know, if they don't have a family, they'll either, you know, stick it up their nose or they'll piss it against the wall. And like, especially the old, older guys, I've met so many single divorced older tradies who they'll just work as many hours mm-hmm. as they're given because that's all that they know and that's all that 